Hey everyone, it's Grace here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do the very pretty fish scale or dot tutorial. So what you want to start out with is four colors. One, your base coat, and then two solid colors, and one glittery or sparkly coat. Okay, you also need some kind of like tool to put the dots on with. You can take a q-tip and cut off the end or you can just take a lollipop stick like I did. So what you want to do is first get one of your solid colors. This is a nice green I have. Sally Hansen Emerald City. You just want to take a glob of it actually and just put it on to a piece of paper and index card like I have. Then you want to take the end of your lollipop stick or q-tip and dip it in. This will be the fundamental way to make a dot. You want to put this right in the middle of the top of your nail, just like this. Okay? Alright. Then you need to clean it off just by kind of rolling it around on the paper. Next, take your other solid color, this blue streak Sally Hansen color. You gotta open it up and put a glob of that as well onto the paper. Alright. Once you have that down, take your stick, dip it in, and do two dots of that next to your one middle dot that you did first. Looks great. Okay. So, just make sure those look pretty opaque. Clean it off. And so then you have the first row done already. So once you do that, you start breaking out the glitter. So you unscrew that. And put some of that down on your paper. Okay. And then you do a dot of that underneath this side, as you can kind of see. I'll show close up when I'm done. Alright, see that? Alright, looks great, doesn't it? Alright. So you do that. Then, if your blue isn't too dry, like mine isn't, then dip onto that one and put one of those right next to the sparkly one. Perfect. Next, take some of your green and do that right next to the blue. Alright, clean that off. Then take a little bit more of the green and put that on the other side of the sparkly. I'll show you close up after I'm done with this row. Alright, awesome. See that? already halfway done. Okay, so once you have that done, take a little more of your sparkly. Mine is pretty much dried up, so I'll put some more of that down. You don't want to use any tacky nail polish, because then it'll rip up the rest of your polish that's on your nail. It just won't look very good. So make sure it's always really wet. So you clean off your stick, get some more of the sparkly on there and put that underneath the green dot that you did last. Don't be afraid to overlap because that looks really good. Okay, let's see if my blue is pretty dry. Yeah, it's pretty much tacky. Get some more of the blue down. Okay, so take some of your blue and put that next to the sparkly one that you just did. Alright, see? Just like that. My green soap seems pretty wet. Yep, it is. So get some more of your green on there, or whatever color, and do it next to the blue one that you just did. Perfect. Mm 
Okay, after that, get some more of your blue. Put that down there. Looking good. Alright, after that, more sparkly. And put that below the blue one that you just did. That looks awesome. Okay, clean it off. Do a little touch up. Alright, awesome. Okay, I'm actually going to go over that one a little bit because you can see some of the base coat showing through it and that does not look good. Okay, got that one done. Then, take some more of your green. You know, I actually think this is still wet. It's really impressive. Make sure you're clean first. <laughs> and put some of that right next to the sparkly you just did. After that, take some of the blue. Put that down there. Awesome. And then lastly, take some of your green. And put it on down there. Now, I need to use some touch ups, and you'll be done. The sparkles always look really good when you touch them up because they end up popping, oops, a lot more than they did before. There we go, pop. Actually, it looks kind of naked up here, so I'm add another right on up here by the top. Awesome. Okay, that should be it. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Bye.